There is no better feeling than knowing you have found the other half in your life. It is exciting and it is a moment to cherish. Love is a complicated yet a beautiful thing, and it comes in many ways. Some are instant, while others take time to mature. Moreover, knowing your soulmate is beside you is a moment that the Empire actor Trey Byers cherishes. It all started as Trey Byers and Grace Geely met on the set of Empire. Not long after, sparks ignited. Their characters in Empire were not exactly the best of friends. However, today they are life partners who seem to be destined for each other. Welcome back. In today's video, we will take you into the romantic journey of Trey Byers and Grace Geely, a partnership that is considered one of the sweetest love stories. Before we start, let's take a trip down memory lane. Trey Byers was born in Kansas City in July 1983. He was born as a military child, and this led his parents and him to travel to different military bases across the globe. He also had a troublesome teenhood when he wasn't able to make many friends. One of the reasons was he was used to travel and shifting schools. Trey Byers was an extremely shy person in high school. He went to audition for the role of Antoine Fisher. Unfortunately, the part went to the actor Derek Luke. However, Trey still wanted a move to Hollywood to pursue his dream of working in the entertainment industry, but his mom had other ideas. His mother asked him to go to college for a minimum of two years. After Trey graduated from high school, he surprised his mother. Byers went to attend a religious two-year institution where he received an associate's degree in theater. This followed a year of attending Prairie View. He transferred to the University of Kansas, where he obtained his bachelor's in communications. He was accepted to the Yale School of Drama and earned a master's degree in acting. In his early acting life, he appeared in soap operas. In 2011, Trey made a television debut with a recurring role on the ABC daytime soap opera, All My Children, and the following year had a role in the CW teen soap, 90210. He also played civil rights activist James Foreman in the 2014 historical epic film, Selma. He was out of a long-term relationship when he got cast as Andre on Empire. Meanwhile, Grace Geely had a troublesome early life. Grace was born on July 26, 1984 in Pennsylvania. As an infant, they moved to the Cayman Islands where Grace was raised by her deaf parents. Grace told the TV show, The Doctors, that her father was born completely deaf while her mother lost her hearing at the age of two after suffering from pneumonia. Due to her parents' deafness, Grace learned how to communicate with sign language before she was able to speak. In her school, she was bullied due to how her mom's voice sounded. Grace told people that it was hard for her to fit in school since the taunting and criticism were too much for her. This led Grace to become a people pleaser because she wanted to be included. Grace took her frustration out on her mom. Grace said, I remember being very angry with my mother and wanting her not to sign largely in public or when she spoke not to make so much noise because she sounded differently from everybody else. Her mom was worried about her and called Grace for her talk. Grace's mother told her, no, this is who I am and I can't change that and people are gonna have to accept that. Grace said her mom's amazing spirit helped her to become a stronger woman. Seeing how disabled people were treated in the world, Grace was filled with an overwhelming sense of compassion, grace, and patience for others. Grace went and earned her bachelor's degree in theater arts before obtaining a master of fine arts. Despite the achievements, she found it difficult to have a breakthrough in the industry. And to maintain her needs, she had to do a bunch of side jobs and was living paycheck to paycheck. Grace moved to New York City where she performed off-Broadway, including in Venus Flytrap and Rent. Sadly, she almost lost her life when she was involved in a head-on collision. Grace told Essence Magazine that she split her forehead to the skull and had to receive 15 stitches. She was bedridden for weeks and had injuries all over. This made her unable to go out for auditions and she barely had enough strength to leave the house. She also dealt with her inner struggles she had been battling since childhood. However, Grace was so strong. 
she learned that she was good enough and didn't need acceptance. In 2014, she made a huge recovery, but her acting opportunities were pretty much dead. Grace told Elle magazine that she quit the entertainment business and set up her own company to provide interpreter services. However, life comes in many ways, and when she decided to walk away, she received a call from Empire. This would be her big breakthrough. Byers played Andre Lyon, the ambitious first son of the powerhouse Lucius Lyon. While Geely's character, Annika, dated Lucius and had a sexual relationship with his third son, Hakeem, before getting killed off the show. During the merge summit, Trey explained that after filming the pilot episode, his co-star Terrence Howard had a birthday party and invited the entire cast. They were all sitting at a table in a private room when Trey felt someone looking at him. He looked up and it was Grace. In an interview, Trey said, for whatever reason, time stopped. Wow, and I have been sitting there since. Trey couldn't find the right words for what happened when he locked eyes with Grace. Trey added by saying, I like to say it was love at soul sight. He told Essence that he watched her dance later and yearned to be the man that was dancing next to her. It kinda looked like a Disney fairy tale in motion. After their party, everyone went their separate ways to await the news on whether or not the pilot had got picked up by Fox Network. Everyone, including Grace and Trey, kept in touch as his feelings for her were getting stronger. The show Empire debuted in January 2015. It became one of the most watched shows on TV. Trey added that God brought them together again and he was officially in love. However, Grace was in a relationship with someone else. During the appearance at the Merge Summit, Grace wasn't even attracted to Trey at first since she was in a relationship. She was focused on her boyfriend. However, Grace did admit there was something between her and Trey. Grace described their first meeting as love at first spirit. However, she didn't pursue anything with him as she was loyal to the current relationship she had. On an episode of The Real, Grace explained how she was ready to marry her boyfriend, although there wasn't a spiritual connection. She added by saying that she stayed with him for a long time and was comfortable with him. However, there was something with Trey Byer she couldn't ignore. She went to seek her friend's help to tell her friend that Trey is the one. Grace took her time and eventually she broke up with her boyfriend. The same week she ended her relationship, Trey woke up in the middle of the night and heard God telling him that Grace was his wife. In March 2015, TMZ speculated that Trey and Grace were hooking up. This speculation came as the two looked cozy at a wedding reception. Adding up, Us Weekly confirmed that they were a thing. According to one insider, it stated they started seeing each other during the shooting of the show. There was an instant attraction. People in the show were aware of it. When they all hang out together, they cuddle and give a kiss, but it's nothing obscene. The second source revealed that they were having a great time together and the actor and actress were trying to keep a low profile. Trey and Grace generally avoided being spotted together and were never the couple to exchange PDA or mushy messages across social media. As they both knew each other more, Trey fell in love with everything about her during an Instagram live session. Trey vibed with her instantly. He loved how she was responsible and compassionate and how she achieved her goals. Trey further said that he saw a light radiating within her. Grace stated that she trusted Trey more than anyone. In July 2015, Byers popped the big question. After four months of dating, Trey saw enough and was ready to take his relationship to the next type. On Grace's 31st birthday, they went on a horse and carriage ride and Trey proposed to her. And the answer was yes. Finally, in April 2016, they tied the knot in front of 50 of their closest family members and friends. After marriage, Trey appeared on Harry TV, stating that married life was awesome. Trey appeared on The Rachel Ray Show and discussed how proud he was when Grace decided to take his last name professionally as a way to honor him. On a second anniversary, Trey seemed more in love in an Instagram post. He wrote two years felt like two seconds. 
he added, I'm caught in your love and I'll never, ever leave. Grace and Trey's love continued on. Grace credited Trey for him being her best friend, and she was grateful that he reminded her that she was good enough. In October 2022, Grace showed her adorable baby bump. This would be her first child with Trey. We would love to give you more details. However, today's video comes to an end, and we thank you for sticking around. So, what was more surprising from the above reveal? Has their love life inspired you? Or what do you feel about their lifestyle? Let us know in the comments below. Remember to hit the like and don't forget the subscribe button on your way out.